Hello there. What's going on, everyone? Today, I'm going to be bringing to you a painting video. I don't do a lot of painting videos, but today I had kind of promised that I was going to talk a little bit about this particular ship, the Acclimator, uh, as well as some other painting advice as well is going to be in this video. But uh, this particular ship uh, was noted by a lot of folks as kind of having uh, a not a very good wash on the ship. And you can kind of see how a lot of other ships have a lot more detail that's highlighted with that darker wash. This one doesn't quite have it uh, as well. And so one of the things we're going to do is try and bring a little bit of a wash in here and just kind of give you guys like a, an easy tutorial uh, in case a lot of you are intimidated. Uh, I'm not a particularly renowned painter. I'm very kind of middle of the road. But this, what I'm going to show you is so easy that you guys will have no problem. And basically it boils down to just getting yourself a wash and applying it. But uh, this is gonna be a little different on this one because I already did some trial and error. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I've already done and some of the difficulty that comes into that. Now, what is a wash, right? So that's the first thing we're gonna be talking about. What is a wash? A wash is basically kind of a mixture of paint and water. That's the simplest way to do it. If you want to create a wash and you've got some acrylic black paint, mix like a little bit of black paint with a whole lot of water, um, probably about like 25% uh, black paint, 75% water, somewhere in there. And, uh, and, and, and you know, you basically put that in there, it's gonna seep into the cracks and then kind of fall off the top, kind of making the dark areas dark and the light areas light. That's basically what a wash is. Um, it's a little more complicated than that because there's some oils and stuff that go into washes. I'm gonna be using uh, Citadel's Nuln Oil, but also there's uh, Agrax Earthshade, and a lot of times people will mix both of these. This is basically a black wash, which is kind of like black ink in here that sinks into, and this one's like dark brown wash, which is dark brown ink. They'll actually look very, very similar, but the, the differences are notable, especially on certain things. I think for ships specifically, black is gonna work a little bit better. However, there are maybe some ships you wanna try a little bit of Agrax Earthshade with if you want to go for more of a rusted kind of look is certainly appropriate. I don't think it works as well for the Republic ships, but I think it might be a more appropriate color for some of the Separatist ships or maybe an older ship that uh, maybe if you wanted to do one of these uh, these Corvettes here, these Consulars that are maybe a little older that have been refitted because they're from the earlier days of the Republic, that could be a kind of a cool thing to do. So uh, you might think it's as simple as just opening this up, uh, sticking your brush in here, and rubbing it on the ship. Well, the problem with that is quite simply that it will, it will get blotchy and it will be too thick, and most of these particular washes end up being a little, uh, a little thicker than they really need to be. So what you can want to do a lot of times is thin them out. And I'm going to take a little, bit of, a little bit of water, put it in a palette here, and... Do a couple of drops of water and then then some of this. And then we're going to, whoops, that's not water. Hold on. We got a, <laughs> that's my paint thinner. Uh, let me get a new one. Hold on a second. All right, so now I got water and I'm doing about 50-50 water and 50-50 wash. One of the problems that I've noticed on these particular ships, however, now this is like a good thing to do with most uh, models that have been primed and painted. Um, what the problem I've noticed on this particular ship, and not just well this and one in general, but recent Armada ships, is that they um, you normally you don't need to prime these. The paint that's on them is already usually good enough. But one thing I've noticed is that kind of uh, applying this, it it, it um, it's less sticky. Like basically the finish is a little bit more refined and matte. So it's almost like you might want to do a little bit more. So in previous videos, I would have said just do a 50-50 wash mix and kind of go over everything and and boom, okay? But you see how it's pooling up so much right there? That's kind of a sign of it not being as, um, as, as sticky as it used to be. So, and what I, we don't want, we don't want it to just sit in there like that because it's going to look just, it's just going to look dirty and, and ugly. And I don't think a lot of people want their Republic ships. These are like... You know, at the time of the Clone Wars, these are like brand new ships. So a lot of us don't necessarily want them that dirty. So there is another thing that you can do, and that's called pin washing, where we're going to take a, a smaller brush, and we kind of go just kind of along the lines, and we try to get specifically the parts that we want. Like, I might want to just get this, right? I think you actually maybe do a little finer than this. I'm doing like a really rough version, but basically it's a, it's a more 
a more detailed wash where you're just getting in the specific lines and you're not really trying to get it to pool up everywhere else. And so we can we can kind of do that all over and that will just get us a little more detail in the cracks. So I'm gonna show you a finished version here. Okay, so this is one that I've already gone back and done all of. Um, and the other thing, I, like you, you wanna do the back and probably a little bit on the bridge and the engines, they don't have, the, all, like this whole rear piece was really, really white. But the other piece that I, I wanna bring your attention to is this middle section here uh, in between the, the top and bottom half. This was all, you know, here I'll, I'll do a comparison. Um, this was all very gray, and like you can see right there, there's, just, there's no paint in there at all. Versus here, we've got some actual shade, which brings out all the detailing in that in that paneling. And this is really just as simple as, as, as water and null oil. Now for this one, what I did, ended up doing though, for most of this one is I did almost all null oil. So I did it a lot thicker. And if you do it straight thicker um, on these particular ships, it, it, will, it will just kind of, It'll go in there better, um, and you'll want to come back and get some of those darker pieces out. So that's kind of what I've done here. You see right there. But the problem is, again, it's, it's a little, it pulls up on top, and I'll, you just want to go back and get those those pooled areas. I know some people kind of don't mind the pooling up on top, you know, because if I just go over the whole thing right there, it's going to end up pooling up on top. So uh, I want to show you something else too, another option that you could do, and that is to prime one of these ships and then it'll be a lot more sticky and receivable of washes. So here we've got a uh, one that I've done a light prime in uh, Corax White. Now, <laughs> before we do any painting on these, actually uh, the first step should be to remove that base because you don't wanna get paint on your, um, on your cardboard because that's a, probably a problem. Um, so now I've got that 50-50 mixture of, uh, of of known oil and water, and now it should stick in a lot better. And already I really like the way that that's going on there. It's, it is still going to pool up because I put it on really, really thick, but I'm going to go ahead and do this whole model this way, and then we'll see how, how this one looks. So I like to go over again. I want to get it to just sit in the cracks, nowhere else. All right, so there we, we mostly have it. Uh, I still have to go back over and kind of pick up some of the pooling um, because, it, you know, look, look at this brush, it's got a little bit wet. But I, I kind of go over multiple times just at the end to kind of pick up all the excess. I really just want it in the cracks here. Uh, and I did a light prime, so you can still see the original uh, colors underneath. And if you want to go back over and repaint over those or maybe in a different color scheme, which maybe I will do, um, you can... You can still do that, but I don't. What I don't want is big splotches, uh, you know, big like ink stains, kind of just on the hull, which is supposed to be more of a, you know, a, a kind of bright shiny or, or, or not, maybe not shiny, but more of a clean and white-ish, you know, Republic colors looking hull. Um, and of course, here I'll do a comparison, this one to the other one. You know, you're still seeing all that paneling. It actually looks a little better right here. So this is something that you can do. That's that's pretty easy. Uh, I didn't really do the bottom yet. But uh, but the top is a little bit more important. Ah, and here we see we've got a lot of this pooling, and this is the problem, right? Is it's it's pooling up right here. We'll have this just this giant stain. So you want to take your brush and just kind of suck up those bits. And sometimes they take a little while to pool, especially if when you're mixing a little bit of water in there. And right here we're getting some. I don't mind if it pools in the cracks, but that's a little bit much right there. You see that? Yeah. Um, so I'll show you some of the other uh, painting stuff I've been working on for these guys and I'll, uh, let me know what you think. Also, there's a painting competition going on right now. Um, have you guys seen, uh, I, I don't know if any of you guys have been in my des Discord lately, but there is a painting competition in Discord. I wanna see your Clone Wars repaints, your Clone Wars paint jobs, your, your ships, your squadrons, anything you've done for Armada Clone Wars. Uh, right now you can win a custom rank and title in the uh, in, 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 our, in my Discord. So d check the links in the description below. Uh, this is probably gonna run through January. So you'll have, you still have time to enter, you know, get your uh, painting done maybe before the holidays or after the holidays. Uh, this is one I posted on social media uh, a while back because I did this one in Republic colors and I kind of blended a lot. I know a lot of people ask me um, or if I wanted, you know, I wanted the Senate, uh, the Senate consular. And of course there's, there's that one. Um, and here's a, a look at a couple of my squadrons. Um, I got the, uh, the Arc 170s here. Um, 
I'm not gonna show all of them. The Jedi obviously have a whole lot of different colors for their Delta 7s, but I've got the Arc 170s. I've got Anakin in the Y-Wings. Um, and uh, I did the Y-Wings blue, kind of like 501st, and my dog is going crazy right now. <laughs> and we've got some Vulture Droids, uh, and we've got some Bella Belubs. So, um, and I've got paint all over my hands. Uh, but yes, so, uh, so yeah, we, we, that's just some of them. I, I certainly have done more. I'll probably post more pictures of those and stuff on the Discord whenever I get around to it. But uh, that's a good place to, to hang out and become part of the community and enter the painting competition. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter if you think they're good or bad or whatever. Just show us. It's, it's, I love seeing people's stuff. And even if you aren't interested in entering the competition, there's still a section where you can go look at all the repaints. And we also have sections for uh, you know, pictures of uh, other people's Legion and X-Wing and Armada and other, you know, 40K and all, all all the other paint jobs and stuff. So there's a lot of collection of good information there. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys found, found this helpful uh, at least a little bit. But uh, definitely remember to take your bases out before you're doing your repaints. Otherwise, you'll get little blotches. I have some Rebel ships. There's a hammerhead that's got red paint all over the actual ship tile because I was dumb and left it in while I was airbrushing it because who knew? Who knew that it was going to... You know, that spray paint would go everywhere. But, well, who knows? What else? <laughs> Learn from my mistakes so you don't repeat them. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the description. Uh, I'm going to probably do some more with this one eventually. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, also, the 12 Days of Life Day, there's still time left to enter to win those gifts. So stay tuned for that. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment if you want to win prizes. I will talk to you guys later on. Thank you so much. And big thanks to my patrons. You guys are amazing. I could not do this without you. Thank you so much. And as always, have a great day.